And we should draw power soon enough. Hopefully, anyway. There we go. So that's going to be an issue eventually, but I'm not too concerned at the moment, especially because we're probably going to get down our Vanguard this next turn, so should be pretty all right. Hojan is pretty annoying. We may want to... oh, okay. Well... I was going to say we may want to go off curve to equivocate that, but now that he's already done his thing with it, we maybe just let this go. I don't want to lose my ramp in either of these units. And since all he can do is pump it up with, well, no, it'll still be five, right? All right, so let's go glass hopper, and then we're going to leave up the equivocate. And now we have two three-cost vanguards, which is insane, and... If we find one more primal, we got Island very, very early in the, in the game, so I'm feeling pretty all right about where we're at, especially because this is just straight up Rakano aggro, and he's going to run out of gas hopefully soon. Hey, what's going on, Gibbon? And so fine, Sunshine. How you guys doing tonight? Hope all is well with you. Interesting. And this is when it swings. Okay, sure. He probably has a pump spell, if I had to guess, but we're going to get rid of this. Yeah, he does have a pump spell. That's fine. We're still going to get down one of these vanguards. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Oh, hoo -hoo. so vanguard coming down. We're going to scout here because we can actually give Ilan charge with the Praxis Arcanum now. And we have great blocks with everything. We are in good shape. Very good shape indeed. Okay, well, not in as good of shape anymore. We're still at 18 though. Against an aggro deck, feels pretty all right. Only swinging there. Yeah, sure. So, hmm, we should get the Vanguard down now, because unless he has a Vanquish as one of his two remaining cards, we have good blocks on everything. Yeah, he does not. Kind <laughs> of turned into a Death Cap. That's hilarious. That was his Hojan. Go ahead and swing, buddy. All right. So now, hmm. Well, we can do both of these, but I don't want to swap out either one of these. And giving Island Charge isn't really that good right now. So I think we're just going to Island kill this one. And then we're going to swing. If he really wants to trade two for one, that's fine. Because we still have Island sitting back. And considering we're at 15 still, I feel pretty good about our position. May even just chump there? I would chump here if I was chumping. Yeah, double block makes sense. He needs to top deck a Vanquish or he's pretty much dead. That is not a Vanquish. We could give our Merchant charge. <laughs> Such value. Ooh, giving her Overwhelm is great. Alright, so let's give her Overwhelm. Then we're gonna play the merchant. Swap and get divining rod, because then we can divining rod on her. And I don't think I wanna swing in yet. Actually, yes I do, right? Yeah, he can't he can't block and kill, and I don't think he can kill us next turn. We're gonna do this and go Viper's Bite on Island, and then swing. So we'll get in for a lot of damage if he blocks. Yeah, get him for six. That's a bad chump. There was really no reason to do that. Opponent could not know what the interaction with Overwhelm and, and uh, Deadly is, though. So I can't really fault them. 
And now we get to do some fun stuff. So let's do it here, just for funsies. She already has a big booty, but now it's even bigger. And then let's see how many we can flop. None? Oh, that's so lame. All right, well, we did get rid of three powers, so I think that's fine. And again, trumping is really bad for our opponent. That was a smart play. We honestly don't care about our uh, uh, Praxis Arcanum here, so if they swing in at it, we're going to let it go. If they swing at our face, we're going to do some blocking. We find the... the Warhelm? Oh, Finest Hour. Okay, sure. Follow my lead. Well, at this point, our ramp is meaningless, so we're just going to do some chumping here. Which is completely fine. We're going to chump here, bounce this one. We can probably take three, that seems fine. So yeah, chump here, bounce this one, take three. Oh, shoot, it was, I didn't realize he was swinging at the Arcanum. We could've just let that go, but we're gonna win on this turn because Islan gets in for 12 at everybody and then swings at the face. Oh, oh, and Overwhelm, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is nasty. I didn't even realize, so that did 12 to everything and their face and it but it did one to each of the units and then 11 to their face so it did a total of 33 plus 12 is 45 so 45 damage to him on that one swing without even hitting it <laughs> this is close i think it's fine actually we'll get to play border scout on one which Hopefully we don't draw a unit next turn because it would be cheaper if we could play the journey guide on one. But we can play Border Scout and then play this for time and do the journey guide into Bayonet. So we're gonna get a lot of ramp here. And then hopefully we draw some units that are cheaper and start getting in. And we need some more time, of course. Oh God, that's like two Joes in hand. That's a bit annoying. Could be, I guess it could be, um, Jotun Hurler as well. We don't know for sure. So one win. Yes, we have one win so far. Also, hey Hashua, how you doing tonight? Just don't look down. We definitely need a time source very soon. If it could be this next turn, I'd be happy. Okay, well that's not great for us, but not the end of the world either. Okay, we did find our time too. That's great. Because now we get to Praxis Arcanum. Give the Vanguard charge, which is great. Ooh, and we get to play this for free. Sweet. Man, Praxis Arcanum is awesome. I feel like this is a really overlooked site. Are you doing okay? I am doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Another seal. Not very good here. Uh, do we want a Viper's Bite on that? I guess so? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? We'll play the Vanguard. Maybe we wait. Swing in with these dudes. Swing it with the nerds. Nice, good draw. And I mean, if we get Island off of the, or is it Island Talir? If we get Talir off of this, it's gonna be pretty good. Titan, that's gonna get equivocated. Let's refresh on the Vanguard. And I think we might as well equivocate here so that we can get in and not worry about anything. Hey, what's going on, Jagless? How you doing tonight? Yeah, we are playing some bears. Bears, bears, and more bears. I played this one. We can play anything in our deck at this point, even without the cost reduction. 
I love being able to play all the one drops for free with the Arcanum as well. It's so insane. Were we on the draw this game? I don't actually remember. Certainly very far ahead at this point. Oh yeah! <laughs> well, we again did not get to see Magnati do its thing, but... We're just winning. Okay. That makes sense. What is this? Oh yeah. Alright. That's pretty good. Well, can't win them all, you know? I think this is fine though. We're gonna keep it and probably pledge Island, I think. Well, does that make sense? No, I think we pledge the Vanguard, actually. We get another copy with this and we're guaranteed to be able to play it. We were not guaranteed to be able to play it if we went with the Island, so I think that's the right call. Banner for Rod? Um, man, I really like having the Rod. Sometimes it doesn't actually hit, but when it does, it's insane. Oh, that actually worked out. I'm glad we went with what we did. Um, but I also don't know which banner we would do, because like I don't really want to take the Elijah banner out of the main, because you really have a limited number of uh, powers that can actually get you both colors in just two colors. So... Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe the teleport goes out. I love the potential nastiness with Rod. I find myself getting it very often out of the market. But definitely maybe the teleport. We'd have to restructure our, our power base quite a bit. Something to consider though, because I do find myself wanting to grab one from the market quite often actually. So, yeah, we'll just get rid of this sigil here. And I think we get core. It ramps us into our big stuff. Like, I think we can island in two turns. Like, one turn after our core. Get our scout on here. Ooh, Psychalis is a great draw. Get the core down. Mm. I almost don't want to risk that they have a defiance I don't think the one damage is worth it here they probably don't actually have it this looks like Combray aggro but it could be Combray control I guess oh he's got our cam okay I like your style sir most likely accelerating a moonstone vanguard I would guess very interesting well, I think we will kill the Praxis Arcanum. And now that he's tapped out, we can go ahead and swing. And Island's threatening to take over this game, although he probably has Vanquish, so he most likely has a clean answer in hand. But we will see. Iron Thorn to charge, okay. Well, that's not going to do a lot of good with an island on board. Alright, so we're definitely going to Psychalis. I guess we might as well Vanguard as well. I was thinking maybe we go for the Divining Round here. But I don't think we really need to. Hmm, maybe we want to hold up for Equivocate, actually. Let's do that. Because I'd like to equi equivocate the Iron Thorn. Yeah. And maybe we do it now so he can't ramp again. That seems like a good call. Definitely don't want him ramping even harder than he already has. Especially if he's got a uh, chains, which he might have. Turned into a Y bark. That's decent, actually. You can kill this. I don't think you want to go after that. I think, yeah, that makes more sense. I just love Island. The inevitability Island brings to the table is really nice. Hey, what's going on, Garlic Roast? How you doing tonight? Hope all is well with you, my friend. Alright, he's gonna need chains and power 
pretty much exactly now. Or Vanquish, that's also good. All right, Chains and Power, sure. Still don't think that's quite enough though, right? We have Lethal on board. Oh, okay, that works. Do we have a way to win? Uh, not quite, and we also can't passage here, but we are gonna swing in with everything. Oh, ho, ho. hello, Apex Predator. Yep, those blocks make sense. Oh, we can't do it with the... Ah, uh, we're short of time source. That's an, a real bummer, actually. All right, instead we're just gonna go Disjunction. I think we swap out this ramp, go get Disjunction, kill the chains. And now I think we got it. Does the current meta seem unbearable to you? <laughs> no, it seems overly bearable. Oh, this is so close. This is another one of those hands where it's kind of awkward if we don't drop power very soon. Then again, we can theoretically Psychalis on three with this hand. We pledge Psychalis, play this play the banner, and then hopefully we draw another power. I think we'll try it. Last time, the one power hand did not pay off for us, though. Cannot bear to watch this game. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be bear tribaling. Don't you worry. I just, this is the, the deck that I brewed with Magnati, and I've been having a ton of success with it. So I wanted to show it off first, and then we're going to try out Ski J's Bear Tribal deck that he posted on Twitter. Seems like a sweet one. And we drew power there. We are doing it, folks. So we are going to get to Psychalis on three if this lives. It's looking like it's living. Next turn, we can Arcanum to give Island charge. She's gonna cost seven. And we'll be two turns away from playing her if we draw power, power. Oh, it's elves, huh? Oh, no, 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 this is, uh, this is rats. This is definitely rats. Play the bear or riot? <laughs> I want the bear. I want to draw the bear very badly. Wait, what? Did I play that by accident? I didn't even realize I was doing that. Uh, that's fine though. We actually did want to play that. That was really odd. I think I looked away and I did my obsessive clicking thing and clicked the, the card while it was up here. That's funny. Kind of wish we had played Praxis Arcanum though to give it charge. Yep, because now it's actually just going to die. So that did end up sucking. But that's my fault for looking away, you know? All right, so Arcanum, we're gonna give Island Charge and we get to ramp. And we're gonna hold it back to block so the Arcanum for sure lives a few turns. Yeah, the one power hand is actually working out. We're getting kind of lucky, if I'm being honest. Oh man, that's a lot of cages. We could definitely use a merchant to get our passage of eons. Let's go with, hmm. I think we do refresh here. Play Moonstone. And hmm, do we pass? Kind of want to equivocate the courtier. I think I'm gonna do that. I just don't want the uh, the opponent to play a relic and get another power in hand because that's actually a super powerful ability. I've really under uh, underestimated that ability for quite a while, but especially this deck has really shown me how strong it is. I'm guessing he's going at the Arcanum here, which is fine. We get to eat two of the rats. We do lose our Arcanum. We also go back up to thirty. Back up to 30. We go up to 30. Initiate. We're just swinging here. Border Scout is great. 
He's down to nine and can't block. And we have exactly nine on board, so he needs something. Probably has another spear. Or he's just dead, not sure. City and Golem, sure. He can block with that. If we draw undepleted power, we win. Oh, Psychalis is a good draw as well. Hmm, maybe don't swing here, actually. Air Guard Bayonet would have been good this last turn. Okay, sure. Draw. Okay, Initiate's fine. And we definitely get to play Island for the win next turn. So I believe we've got it. And here lies the disadvantage of playing the rat deck. If you get behind, there's just no way to get back into it. I mean, okay, Smuggler. I find it very hard to believe he can win from here. Yes? What'd you get? What you got there, buddy? The uh, oof. No early game whatsoever, but we do have pledges and a bayonet, so I think it's fine. We're gonna pledge the Vanguard and hope we draw some units. Drawing some way to ramp would be great. Bayonet and pledge is the dream. That is exactly right. Ooh, yes. I love me some Shadowlands Border Scout. Although I think, I actually think Border Scout has fallen to my second favorite card. Behind Magnati. I'm actually obsessed with Magnati. It's so good. Uh, hmm, let's play a depleted power here. We don't really need to. We have all of our influences. We only need three of each. So there's no real reason to play the seal here. And that lets us maybe play something on five if we need to, or four. Alright, now we have plenty of ways to go in undepleted. It'd be awesome to drop. Praxis Ar Arcanum here to give the Border Scout charge, because then we can charge it in with the bayonet on it. Oof, double bayonet. Alright, so we're gonna Psychalis, and look like it probably will get equivocated. Seems like a strong possibility, and there it is. Just ramp while you die, it's all good. <laughs> We're not dying yet. Opponent's not really doing anything. This looks like Temporal, maybe? Well, that's a big guy. Oh my god. That is Praxis Arcanum. <laughs> Next turn's gonna be huge. We're gonna draw many cards. Because we're gonna get to Border Scout, Bayonet, Bayonet, swing in for three, draw three cards. Seems pretty all right. Not to mention we're gonna be at like nine power. Oh man, that's actually gonna get in the way. That's annoying. And we can't refresh it either. Shit, what a jerk. All right, so. How do we do this? We do this, 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 it's just a three, four. I guess we just play this. That actually is a bummer. But they are gonna swing in at the Arcanum. Which is fine, because we'll still get to do our thing. Yeah, whatever, sure. We don't have any relics in the deck. Or, oh yeah, they might. They don't, okay. Whew. Don't see many people playing the Terry Axe. I tried it in my original uh, Pledge Elysian deck. And it's pretty strong, actually, but you don't really see it very often. The shadow has come. Oh, we're doing things. We're doing many, many things. Let's see what we have on top first. If it's a power, we're putting it on bottom. Oh, yeah, it's going bottom. Huh. 
Ooh, and an equivocate and an island. Hell yeah. All right, so if he's able to pump it twice, we're going to equivocate. Otherwise, we just kill it with island. All right, sure. So let's equivocate that. He's not going to block, or not going to swing, I mean. And then we get to do this. I wish we could give it charge. We don't really need to. We're about to draw three more cards. Can we please draw the bear? Give me that bear. Come on, bear. Yes, 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 yes. All right. If opponent doesn't scoop, you're going to see some real fun stuff. Yep, go ahead. Vanquish it up. Smuggler. Not sure what that's getting. Maybe Eternity Core, if this is actually Temporal. Although, seeing the Terry Axe tells me it's probably not Temporal. Temporal? I don't know if I'm saying that right. The thing that makes stuff fast. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, I think we're actually going to hold off on uh, old Moki here. Because we want to give it charge. We want maximum punishment on our opponent. Oh wait, just kidding! Because it makes it cheaper. <laughs> this is so dirty. I feel like a dirty, nasty human. Look at this, guys. We're swinging 14 Overwhelm. Oh, and there's another one. Yes. So, even if he vanquishes... Well, I guess it doesn't really do all that much here. We only draw one card. It's still pretty damn good, though. Let's go ahead and... Hmm, Viper's Bite doesn't really do much here, does it? I guess we just refresh here. And then go ahead and Psychalis, Psychalis. Give him the A-Space, and I think that's gonna do it. Most likely Stampede, and that means we're dead. Although we couldn't really do anything about that, right? I think we are just dead. But again, not sure we could actually stop that from killing us. I guess we just soak up as much as we can, but we're definitely dead. Up to 22. I think we take a lot more than 22. Yeah. Unless they didn't draw power here, I guess. We have a chance. They didn't, but they drew a Vanquish Blade. And that does draw the power. And then Moknati comes down. We have to leave it up to block though. Oh wait, no, we need we need power, don't we? Uh-oh. I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. This is fine. More than fine, actually. Hopefully we draw a bear in the near future. Our cannon's just so strong with it. Hey, what's going on, Spirit Chiller? How you doing tonight? Island. Island is strong, especially when she has charge. Hmm. I don't really want to swap anything. I think we're just gonna do no swap. I guess we could get core, but then we're gonna be potentially short on our influences. I think we're just gonna skip. Might seem odd, but I think that's the right call here. Oh wow. Time Just don't look down. Scout here. Ooh, equivocate is great. So next turn we Arcanum give her charge, and then we should be able to swing in with her next turn. Alright, so it's Huru Flyers. Accelerate Island. And then we pass. He's probably going to play some kind of flyer, and we just equivocate. Let your spirit Ooh, rise. that's Berserk, huh? Yeah, we have to equivocate to make sure that Island lives. Or Island, uh, sorry, not lives. Uh, comes down next turn for sure. And we will get to pop the Aegis, so it's just going to be a 0-5. 
Okay, so we did not actually need the Praxis Arcanum there. But I think that's still fine. We're just gonna refresh ourselves for no real reason whatsoever. Pop that Aegis. And I think in case we draw a Merchant, we're gonna leave the power in hand. My new computer sucks, gotta use my PS4 for Twitch. Oh damn, that's unfortunate. Ooh, that's also unfortunate. But hey, at least you have some way to watch, right? Order Scout is very cheap. I think we Viper's Bite on Island. She's, she is still a 612, so it's not like she's completely useless. And the Border Scout's not going to get in anyway, so I think we're just going to block. Oh, I, I gave it charge. Why didn't I swing? What am I, a dummy? Good call, Extinction. I definitely should have swung. I don't know why I didn't. That was really silly. I think he might have just chumped here. But yeah, you're right. Definitely should have swung. That was... I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Definitely gonna block here. We get the Talir. Past and future. That was really silly. Why did I do that? And the same. I don't think I was really thinking about it for some reason. I made a whole to-do about giving it charge and then didn't actually do it. Silly. That said, I do think he probably would have blocked, although if he blocked here then it would be off the board, which is relevant. Because most likely that's a uh, palace, which is going to give it Aegis and a lot of power and toughness, and that's bad. Ooh, Magnati! And Equivocate, oof, that's good. That's real good. Oh, I was like, why was that free? It's because of Talir. Sweet. Might as well swing Talir. Chump is fine. So, when the palace comes down, he tries to give that Aegis, and we say, Nope, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead and do it. Ooh, that's too bad. That's got a sting. Interesting. Why swing with the 2 2? And why do we care if he swings with the 2 2? Maybe we just take the damage. I don't know. Well, he, he had zero power. We should have blocked with Magnati, but. Eh. I was a little concerned about some kind of trick, but I should not have been. Definitely going at face. Chump is the correct call. Get him down to two. Oh, we should definitely should have swung with everything. I'm punting all over the place right now. Just punting all over the place. He has to swing here because he berserked it for no real reason. Yeah, the Dusk Raider block was free, and I definitely should have taken it. That was definitely a punt. Lots of punts happening here. Um, We have so much power. Let's do this. Let's get the Divining Round, because we could hit a Psychalis. Not to mention it makes it a 10-10. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking 11-11, but... And there's a Psychalis. And now we got him. It's always nice to punt and have your punt not go punished at all. Might need an Obelisk in this deck. Yeah, that, that could be a thing for sure. Maybe in the market? I don't know. There we go. 
Boom. Ooh, no pledge, no play. There it is. Alright, so we pledge this, a bit awkward with the initiate, but being able to do both of these in the same turn is super relevant. So pledge there, this gets second time, and we're very close to all of our influences. We only need triple time for the big dino, and we only have two of those. Time quickens. I wish I could save the bayonet for the border scout, but that's not the end of the world. And I can't remember who was saying uh, swapping out the Divining Rod for something, for like a banner, I think. The main reason that Divining Rod's in there is to put it on a Border Scout. Because putting it on Border Scout is really strong. You just immediately draw four cards if it's already in play, which we're going to do here. Of course, it's going to take two turns to get there, but yeah, we don't care about stingers at all. We don't care about that. Equivocate's good. Would have been good last turn, actually. Actually, we just swap that? Yeah, let's do it. Get the rod. Please don't be a trap. Cool. Maybe I should have swung first. So we could have just dumped one Vanguard. Oh well, that's annoying. I'll finish this quickly. Completely fine. Alright, we're gonna play the Vanguard. And we will get to put the Divining Round on the Vanguard, which is also very good. Basically just trying to hit any pledge. No Scorpions yet is very strong as well. Come on, hit something, please. Yes. Wow. Well, we're going to see some stings pretty soon. Still not. Wow. That was like six or seven cards with no singers. That's completely fine. Getting the Vanguard off the board is good. Fresh kills make the best pelts. Opponent has a glass hopper, sure. Another Mugnati. Love it. And we don't even care if he blocks with the stinger, because we just uh drop to seven cards. Oh my god, so many bears. We're doing it. We are doing it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love it too much, I think. Sure, do you think, man? Oh, should have played this first because we would have drawn one extra card, but that's okay. Actually, I guess the only thing that's bad about this is we will be drawing a bunch of scorpion traps. But again, we just have more, many more bears, so it really doesn't matter. Bear just swings right over those scorpions, no problem. Ooh. Oh, I've drawn so many cards here. All right, so play the seat. I think we'll just give one charge here, right? We could give one charge and play a Vanguard. Just and we get to play that for free. So good. That's a lot of swings. Oh, at the practice arcanum? Sure. I don't care about that at all. It's already done its job. We don't need it. And it gained us um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gained nine life off of that. Off of that. Seems pretty strong. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this turn's gonna be good. This turn's gonna be real good. Maybe even game ending. 
Oh wait, no, we can't do both. I don't know why I thought we could do both. Well, we still get to play Magnati. Oh my god, another glass hopper. Down to four. Opponent's definitely dead next turn. Island alone does it. They both cost five, which is disgusting. Uh, just because I'm mean, I'm going to toy with them and play both. 